Hello and welcome back to Incredible Inverse and Other Animals with me, Phil. And today's video, we're going to take a look at one of my stick insect species, the Sangaya inexpectata lowland. So, let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so here we have my Sangaya inexpectata lowland. Now, as far as I'm aware, there are three different types of Sangaya inexpectata. Uh, as I said, these are the lowlands, uh, which are dark with the white stripe straight down their back. Um, you've also got a more beigey coloured one, which used to be the most common one I've always used to find in the UK. Uh, I now find the lowlands are probably the most common, uh, at least to me they are. Now, I've also been told about a green one that may or may not be available in the UK yet. No, um, these are also sometimes known as the Sungay stick insect or the Sunny stick insect, as well as sort of common names if you like. But these guys uh, originate from the Philippines, so, and they are really simple stick insect to keep. No, they don't get all that big. Uh, they're nice, uh, manageable size uh, stick insect. No, um, females get a little bit bigger than males. So, and they'll eat a wide variety of food plants. So here I've got them on ivy currently. They'll also readily take bramble, um, hawthorn, chestnut, beech, and raspberry leaves as well. And there's probably a few others and that they'll they'll take as well. So I use ivy over the winter time for them. I've always used bramble with them, uh, and I've also used hawthorn as well myself. So I find the bramble is probably their favourite. So but they will readily take anything. Now, the important thing is that if you're going to change the food plant, you have to make sure you always put some of the old type of food plant in as well, just so that their gut flora can adapt uh, to a different food plant, um, if it, especially if you don't give a variety of food all at the same time. So, but where you can, I do find it's best to put maybe multiple different food plants in at once. Now, these guys can reproduce by parthenogenesis as well as by sexual reproduction. So these guys, um, for the lowlands, they do have males and females, so these guys tend to reproduce more with the sexual reproduction, but I know with the beige ones, which I kept many, many years ago, they were all female and were just a parthenogenic uh, line. And, so, and then the lowlands started becoming available um, only a few years ago, so, and that's when we started getting more uh, sexual reproduction going on with them. So, and these guys, they, the females will uh, lay their eggs into the substrate. So, where you know, I find for my lot, it takes maybe around three to four months to hatch out the eggs, so not uh, that long. So, and the uh, insects will live around about a year. So, but all in all, they are just a fantastic stick set to keep if you're looking into getting into your phasmids. Okay, so that was my Sangaya inexpectata lowland. What do you guys think? Personally, I really do like this species. Uh, although they can get a tad annoying at times just because they end up with so many of them. They breed very, very easily. So, but that's also a great thing as well. So, but what do you guys think? If you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Pop some comments down below. If you haven't yet, please do consider subscribing to the channel and hitting that bell for notifications so you know next time I upload another video. But until next time guys, take care, stay safe, and keep rocking.